All of the Project Lead the Way pre-engineering courses teach students how to problem solve and utilize engineering, but none require you to use these methods as much as Computer Integrated Manufacturing, or SIM. I believe this is the most problem solving intense of all of the courses. As a teacher or a student, you must be able to apply engineering and problem solving processes on a daily basis. There are so many different ways to do things and so many different pieces of software and hardware available that it makes every classroom a unique environment. This being said, that means that there is no one right way to do something and you'll have to be able to figure out what works best for you in each situation. In SIM, there are many different pieces of software involved. Students first use VEX in a control software called Robot C in Lesson 1 to program and simulate computer integrated manufacturing systems as a whole. In this video, students have written a program to automate a three step process on a conveyor belt. The process is started manually with a switch, and then the stops are automated through the use of closed loop systems. Students become proficient with sensors like encoders, switches, light sensors, and sound sensors. In Lesson 2, the product design process all starts with Autodesk Inventor, which is used to design and document a 3D part, including its material properties and working drawings. Parts can also be test fit in an assembly file as well. After a part is designed in 3D, it's brought into CAM software, which stands for Computer Aided Manufacturing. Here, the tool paths for CNC production are defined, as well as speeds and feeds and tool selections. We use EdgeCAM at the moment for this process. It's integrated with Autodesk Inventor so that workflow from design to production is very easy. It's also possible to verify machining at this point, and EdgeCAM can then be used to generate the GNM code necessary to make a CNC machine make the part. Once the GNM code is exported from EdgeCAM, it's then opened in a verification program called CNC Motion. This software lets you verify the tool paths that you made in EdgeCAM and allows you to check for errors, determine the estimated time to machine a part, and allows you to make any changes necessary before actual production on the machine. CNC Motion is also the software that runs the CNC machine that actually makes the part. The code is really just XYZ coordinates in the machine's workspace, and the machine just moves the spinning tool through these points. This is all automated. EdgeCAM produces this code for you, and you really don't have to write the code yourself, although you do need to know how to edit it to make small, minor changes. Once the CNC program is written, students use a piece of software called RoboCell. This software can be used to simulate and automate the manufacturing process. For example, you may use a robot to pick and place parts into the CNC machine and take them out after, or actually laser mark them or package them. To learn more about robotics, students also learn the basics with Lynx Motion Robots and another piece of control software called Flobotics Studio. This software allows you to simulate robotics processes on small robotic arms. The students will also be able to integrate these robots with VEX and other components to actually simulate a small manufacturing cell or even a whole factory towards the end of the year. The scope of the SIM course is rather large, from robotics to automation, pneumatics, hydraulics, packaging, programming, CNC machining, the use of tools and machines, and robotics, the knowledge base is immense. The President of the United States himself has said that STEM education is one of the keys to strengthening our economy in his State of the Union address, and SIM is a huge part of this. Manufacturing made up about 13% of the U.S. gross national product in 2010, which is about $1.82 trillion, making us the GNP leader we are today. Students in high school need to understand the importance that manufacturing has on our society and our economy, and even more importantly, is that they need to know how things are made. Most students have no idea that they are capable of making things in their high school using the same technology used in industry today. This may include the use of high-tech equipment in SIM class, such as 3D printers, laser cutters, robots, and CNC machines. Students need to understand that factories are not places filled with low-paid employees toiling away in the dark, dirty places for many hours a day. They also need to learn that today's successful manufacturing facilities are clean, high-tech places filled with opportunities for high-paying jobs for students with a higher education that include many different facets of the manufacturing processes 
Math is used throughout the SIM course from utilizing spreadsheets to determine fixed and variable costs in manufacturing to using geometry to find points in a CNC program. Students also use math to determine the roll angles of a robotic gripper for performing pick and place operations. Surface area needs to be calculated when painting a part and volume needs to be calculated when fitting a part in a package. The center of gravity is very important when manufacturing some things as well. Math is used on a weekly basis in class just as it is in manufacturing. Science is integrated into the SIM class as well. There are many chemical manufacturing processes that involve chemistry, like this factory that demonstrates copper plating made by 10th grade SIM students. Students learned about the electrochemical plating process and made it happen with everything they learned about in SIM class. Physics abounds on a daily basis as well. Calculating forces in pneumatic and hydraulic systems is one example. while determining the time required to heat and solder a copper pipe without melting anything else is another example. This factory was built at the Cal Poly CTI by future high school SIM teachers in less than two days from start to finish. In conclusion, SIM is a fast-paced, dynamic course that teaches our nation's students about manufacturing in a high-tech, exciting classroom environment.